Welcome back to Patty's Kitchen for this week's market menu. I'm going to do a little twist on that old favourite pumpkin soup. So I really love the fact that we seem to be moving back towards eating what's in season. And you know that when things are in season they're at their peak nutrition and they are inexpensive as well. Right, I'm doing a spiced pumpkin soup so I'll need butternut pumpkin. Oh and look at these chilies, they're so glossy and fresh. A couple of those, beautiful. And some ginger, so busy here. Thank you. That's my soup taken care of. Butternut pumpkin soup, but this is going to have a few spices through it. So first of all, I'm just going to cut up some fresh ingredients. Got some onion, some garlic, some ginger, and a couple of long red chilies. So it's great to eat food that's in season because what you're doing is eating food that's local. So if you're eating oranges in the middle of summer, they're a winter fruit and they've probably been imported from California or somewhere like that. So you, the carbon footprint is quite large. And if you're eating things that are out of season, there's a chance too that they've been put into cold storage for a really long time. Here at Paddy's Markets, you look around and whatever is really, really inexpensive is going to be what's in season. So at the moment, tomatoes, autumn tomatoes, absolutely beautiful. And if you're not sure what's in season, you can always look it up on the Sydney Markets website and get some inspiration from there. So I'm just peeling a bit of ginger with a teaspoon. You can also use a peeler or a little knife, but this is a little trick that someone showed me once and I really like it. So with the chilies, these are long red chilies, so they're not the spiciest chilies going around. As a general rule, but not always, it's a rule with exceptions, the smaller your chilli is, the hotter it is. So this doesn't add too much heat to this soup, but if you like a bit of heat, maybe use the little tiny bird's eye chilies instead, or leave the seeds in. So again, a teaspoon is a nice easy way to take out the seeds and also the membrane that holds the seeds, which is where a lot of the heat is. So now that I've chopped up my onions and garlic, ginger and chilli, so I'm gonna pop this in before that gets too hot. If you, put, if you put onion, garlic, that sort of thing into a smoking hot pan, it'll burn and then it tastes a bit bitter. So you pop it in while it's still reasonably cool. And then I'm gonna add some dry spices as well. So I'm going to put in a teaspoon, roughly a teaspoon each of ground coriander seed, ground cumin seed, and around about half a teaspoon of ground cardamom, and a little bit of cinnamon as well. We'll give those a moment to become beautiful and fragrant. Okay, so the onions and everything have all softened right down, beautiful and soft and really fragrant. You can really smell it. So now it's time just to add some pumpkin and some stock. So what I've got here is about three quarters of a kilo of butternut pumpkin that I've cut into reasonably small pieces. So the smaller the pieces are, the quicker your soup's gonna be ready. So that just goes into that pot with everything else. And what I've got here is a chicken style stock. So it's vegetarian. So this recipe remains completely vegetarian if you use veggie stock or a chicken style stock, or you can even just use water if you like. I'm going to give that a stir, pop the lid on and let it boil away for about 15 minutes. So that's been bubbling and boiling away for about 15 minutes. I'm just going to check that the pumpkin's cooked all the way through. I can kind of tell by looking at it, but just to make sure that it's not still hard in the middle, just grab a little knife and if it goes through easily like that, you know that that's ready. So turn the heat off. And be really careful when you're using your handheld stick mixer in a really hot liquid that you don't splash yourself with it. So a simple stick mixer, just going to blend all that up. Okay, so that's all blended up. It's really important now to have a little taste and add some salt and pepper because I haven't seasoned it yet. So little taste. It tastes yummy, but definitely needs some salt, a couple of pinches, and pepper. You can use cracked black pepper, but I really enjoy white pepper, especially in soup. So I'll give that a stir, and just with a clean spoon, I'll taste it again. It makes all the difference. A tiny bit of salt brings out all the other flavors, so it's really important. 
So I've blended it with a handheld stick mixer. If you don't have one of those, but you've got a blender or a food processor, you can do it in that as well. But make sure you let it cool off before you put it inside that vessel because it can explode if it's too hot. So let it cool off, blend it up and then reheat it. To go with the beautiful Indian style spices in this soup, I'm just gonna give it a dollop of plain yogurt and dress that with a couple of coriander leaves. Thanks for joining me for this week's market menu. We're cooking with beautiful seasonal pumpkin. This is a spiced pumpkin soup. For the full recipe, go to paddysmarkets.com.au. Thanks for joining me.